Milton. Milton, you gonna be a good boy? Milton, you gonna sit? You gonna sit for mommy? You gonna sit on mommy? No, you're just gonna stand there. You're just gonna stand there, bud. Good boy, stand in there, bud. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Or take a drink of water. Yes. Hi, Maddie. How's my Maddie princess? Oh, dag nabbit. Milton, sit. Sit. Good boy, Tootis. Good boy, Tootis Buns. I don't have any treats, Milton. I don't know. I don't have them. Good morning, guys. I am up and at them, and I am just hoping that the spirit of exercise comes over me because I am not feeling it today. Like, I just haven't been in the mood to work out for maybe like the past week, and like, I'm over it. I'm over myself. Like, I want to want to work out because I know how important it is. I know how much I enjoy doing it, but like, I just don't feel like it right now. But like, I don't put on my exercise gear and I'm trying to work my way into it because I want to work out, you know, even though I don't want to work out. And that is called discipline. And I am proud of myself, but also it's just so much more effort to try to force yourself to do something you don't really want to do. But like, I'm here though, I showed up, you know, and that's what I encourage you to do today, okay? Just show up. Also, show up to Keto Palooza, okay? <laughs> that's, that's going to be September 19th and 20th here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I changed my scenery today just so I could show you guys all of the boxes. These are all the boxes of products and swag that all the different companies have donated. Ah, Keto Palooza is just coming together and it is going to be so much fun. You can see information all about it and get tickets with the link in the description box below, but I am really excited. And finally, you know I am really excited to do the Zip Fizz shake. Like, I just, you know, if I drink Zip Fizz, I have to exercise. That's pretty much, those two are linked in my mind, which is a good thing, I'm assuming. So, I am going to drink a Zip Fizz, ergo, I gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? So, today we are having, bam, a uh, fruit punch. And you can't have a bad day when you're drinking fruit punch. Like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm... That's exciting, I'm feeling a little bit better. Going with the OG Zip Fizz bottle opener because I can't find my own. Surprise, surprise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay guys, let's get ready to shake it enthusiastically, okay? In three, two, one. Discipline, consistency, and success. Mm. Woo. And to tart and delicious fruit punch. Woo! Right here. Woo! Mm. <laughs> Okay guys, in order for my Fitbit to count a workout, it has to be at least over 15 minutes and uh, look where I made it. I'm about 18 minutes in and I'm gonna call it a day. It be like that sometimes, okay? Something is better than nothing. Uh, all we can do is try again tomorrow. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I had fun. I literally turned on two dance fitness workouts that I'd never done before and I was like, I'm not feeling these like two minutes in. I was just like, no, this is not what I want to do. So I decided to go with one of my OG favorites, the fitness marshal, but I did dances that I've never done before because really just thinking about doing the moves to even my favorite songs, I just didn't want to do it. So I wanted to have to do something that I had to pay attention and concentrate. So I did dances that I've never done before. I absolutely love the fitness marshal, even though I could only give them four songs today, but Four is better than zero, that's all I'm saying. So hopefully you had a better workout than I did, but I'm excited to be done and to eat something. Y'all, my husband <laughs> done got this whole chicken in a bucket of water. I am letting it brine. What are you gonna do with that whole chicken? <laughs> 
I'm going to air fry it. I'm going to air fry the whole chicken? Yeah, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. I'm letting it brine right now. Ooh, it's, it's a whole chicken. Ooh, oh, yucky. Oh, oh. You're going to have to, like, break it down. Like, are you a butcher? Ew. Okay guys, I am starting off my day with cheese. Surprise, surprise. So I have the individually packaged Parmesan and cheddar cello wisps. And then this is normally where I would put my almonds, but alas, I'm still carnivore. It is still August, so I am having more cheese. So this is just uh, yet even more Parmesan cello wisps. I've been doing this the entire month and I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to have this. I'm gonna finish the Zip Fizz that I did not finish with my 18 minute workout. Uh, and then I'll just get ready for the live. So I created <laughs> this spreadsheet, uh, this grid on this poster board that has letters at the top and it has numbers at the bottom. And so I created, I created a custom die that had like letters and numbers. And then these little squares, they're more like rectangles, but these are the perfect size for gift cards. Of course. So I put, I ordered some little Manila gift card envelopes Magical. on, yeah, online. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. So when everyone brought their gift cards over, I put them on uh, in the envelopes, and then I randomly shuffled them up, and then I put them on all these spots. And the, but in a gift card that was. Random. Yes, in, in an envelope, so you couldn't tell. Yes, exactly. So then everyone would roll the dice, and then they would like have to match and be like, "Oh, this gift card," you know. And so it was really, really fun. And Beverly loved it the most. She did. <laughs> and see, that's the whole thing. My Aunt Beverly don't get excited about nothing. Mm. She's always so cynical and always so like, "This is stupid." But she was like, "This is fun." Like, I was just, thank you, Aunt Beverly. Like, if Aunt Beverly likes it, you know, Aunt Beverly's oh, like exactly. Amber. She don't lie, and if it's lame, she'll just be like, this is lame, so, you know. I agree. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm just having a little pre-lunch snack. This is that crock pot pork that I made covered in chipotle aioli and hot sauce. I got this right out of the refrigerator. I did not even heat it up. My plan today is to make pulled pork nachos, so, like, I'm definitely going to heat it up and dress it up when I actually have my lunch. Mmm. But right now, this is delicious, so... I'm going to enjoy this, work for a couple hours, and then I'm going to have lunch, but like, hot or cold, like, enjoy. chipotle aioli it really only calls for like four ingredients which is olive oil eggs really lemon juice and vinegar that's how you make regular mayo but i went ahead and put some chipotle peppers in there and some smoked paprika oh and some salt and literally just stick blend it for two minutes and you have mayo or in this case fancy aioli and like i put a healthy dollop of that on this meal this is that slow cooker pork that i made for meal prep and 
One thing that I realized is that this is mostly protein here, so just adding that sour cream, adding that mayo, is really going to balance out the fat, and that's exactly what I need to keep in mind on carnivore. And these are these Porking Good nacho cheese pork rinds. I recently shot a review video on Porking Good, that'll be going up soon, but we had those nacho cheese pork rinds left over and they are delicious, so I was like, hey, I can use those for my nachos, I guess. That's what I'm calling these, like pork, pork rind nachos. So I just dipped one of the pork rinds in some sour cream and in some of that delicious pork. Mmm. Oh yeah, creamy and it's hot from the pork that came out of the microwave. The aioli is like smoky and delicious. And then of course I put some hot sauce on there because I need some straight up heat. But the sour cream cools it all down like this is a great meal. And the best part is I got burgers and brats next. So like, once again, carnivore FTW. Okay guys, now it is time for this beautiful deliciousness. Okay, right here we have just uh, a classic beer brat covered in yellow mustard. And then we have a bacon cheeseburger. This is Cheddar Asiago. And as you can see, I have another slathering of that delicious chipotle mayo. Like, uh, this is a treat. Did I say there was bacon on here? There's bacon on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and bite into this delicious brat. Mmm! Mmm! Salty, crispy, absolutely amazing. So, this is gonna finish up the entree portion of today's meal, and then I'm on to dessert. Now you know, you cannot make a sandwich that looks like that and not let me know. You was just gonna, you was just gonna finish this and not say nothing, was you? We do not have to. You are just so sly. Oh, now you wanna open it. Look, oh my God, look at that beautiful crunchy lettuce. I love lettuce. Oh, so we see the T on the bottom. Don't nobody care about that. And then we have the B in the middle. And then we have that delicious L at the top. Oh, crunchy L. finishing off the day with my delicious whipped cream. So this is just a quarter cup of whipped cream with a tablespoon and a half of that chocolate chip uh, flavored skinny syrup. And then if you remember last week, I asked people what maybe a crunchy topping for this would be because like I'm missing the texture of like nuts or chocolate chips. And a couple people said bacon. And I was like, that's a brilliant idea. Now they also said cinnamon sugar pork rinds, which I think would be delicious. I just don't happen to have any plain flavored pork rinds at the moment. All mine are hot and spicy, and I do not think that would go well with this. But I thought bacon was brilliant, and I already have a ton of bacon. I just cooked up some extra bacon when I made the bacon for my burgers. And so I was just like, I'll let that sit and cool down and try it on top of the whipped cream. So we are going to just give that a try. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Honestly... It adds a delicious saltiness at the end that I think really benefits this dish. But ultimately, maybe I should have cooked it a little more to where it was like true bacon crumbles, but it's kind of a little too chewy and not as crunchy as like a nut or chocolate chip would be. But that flavor is amazing. The bacon flavor at the end is awesome. Okay guys, I've been working for the last few hours, but I'm going to go ahead and have my final food of the day. Uh, we have a Sprite Zero here, not pictured. I did have a Diet Pepsi around one or two this afternoon. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and have these two cheese sticks. They are zero carb and I'm just in the mood for a snack. And honestly, I have a ton of them and I need to eat my way through them. So <laughs> this will be the perfect snack to finish off the day. After this, I probably am gonna have some more water, but no more calories. Overall, Intuitive Carnivore these last three weeks has been absolutely amazing. I can't lie, I am looking forward to like having more visibility into what I've been eating, but 
this was just such a great exercise in letting me know that I have what it takes to intuitively eat on a regular basis. And this is definitely something I think I'm gonna revisit once I get to my goal weight, my goal, I guess, you know, body type is that, hey, maybe I don't have to weigh and measure and track so much all the time. Maybe I spend two weeks eating intuitively, two weeks tracking on and off, you know, something like that. I just don't have to be so strict every single time because I've ingrained in myself the habits and the understanding of what true healthy intuitive eating is. So I'm just so proud of myself. Have you been intuitive eating this month? Have you been carnivore this month? Like what have you been doing that is different and how you been at it? Cause like I'm nailing it. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this and that'll be it. And then my husband is gonna put this whole chicken in this air fryer and I will make sure that we all stick around and see what's gonna happen. So, okay. Put it in there like so. Okay. And put this in here like so. Oh, that is so interesting. Ugh. Don't manhandle a chicken like that. I'm supposed to have chicken twine. Oh. Twine down. We, we don't need no twine. We don't need no stinking twine. Oh, baby. But it's okay. Okay. And so. For how long? It says 40 minutes. Oh, wow. With the whole chicken. Oh, wow. Ew, it all opened up. Yeah, Lift the lid. Oh, that, that wonderful juice. Oh, my God. It's like bubbling. The skin is bubbling. That looks like a human brain. Oh, my gosh. You're so good. That is crazy. First chicken with oil, salt, and pepper, and then select air crisp. You know, I've never really seen it work, you know, how this worked before, because you're the only one that used it, but that's really, it's easy to use. I know. Like it's you just press function. the buttons and turn the dial. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty legit. And supposedly, yes. this goes around and mm -hmm. eats it. So you close okay. That, and then it's time. For 15 minutes? Yep. Okay. That's exciting. Wow, it is a lot browner. Oh my God, and the skin is so crispy. What is it? Like, Go with gold crispy. Okay, you guys, forget everything I said. This chicken is delicious. I done had a tasty small portion and now we'll have a larger portion because it is so delicious and it's carnivore. Ah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, the occasional product review, recipe, and crazy video with my family. Thanks so much for sticking around with us. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Mm. Oh, chicken bits. Oh my God. <laughs>